Okay, so here we are rewriting this expression, and the expression is 27x to the 18th and times y to the 5th over 9x to the 6th y. So what do we mean here when we say simplest form? What's, what's really going on there? Well, what we're trying to do is divide and use every law of exponents we can here until um, we basically run out of moves, so to speak, almost like a a chess game in a sense where there's nowhere else to go, right? There's nothing else I could do. Um, so that being said, let's write this out. We have 27 x to the 18th y to the 5th times 9x to the 6th and y. So something we talked about a lot in the last video was that you can regroup the numbers, the powers of like variables, so the powers of x and the powers of y to break this down. So that means that you can really think of this as 27 over 9, which is just 3, x to the 18th over x to the 6th, right? x to the 18th over x to the 6th, and then y to the 5th over y, which is really just y to the 5th over y to the 1st, right? y to the 1st does equal y to the 5th. Those two things are identical. And the next thing I would think of is, oh, well, here, x to the 18th over x to the 6th, the base is the same in both of them. They're both x, and we're dividing. That means we can just, just subtract our exponents, and that's, that's in this case, 3x to the 12th and y to the 4th, right? 5 minus 1 is 4. And here you can see the answer. It's um, the first choice, right? 3x to the 12th, y to the 4th. And part of the logic as to why you can subtract the exponents, we'll get a simple example. In this simple example, we have x to the 3rd over x squared. Well, that equals x to the first, or x. And the basic logic is that, well, if you have x to the third, that's x times x times x. And x squared is just x times x. So that being said, if you look at this, we're dividing, right? And every time we, every time we divide an x or any number by itself, they cancel out. So really, each pair that matches, and there are going to be two x's that match the total three on top, you can tell because the exponent here is 2, and that means there are two x's. Well, that means you're going to subtract right, two pairs of x's. So we do subtract these exponents, and what's left is uh, always going to be the answer. So it's x to the first here. All right, hope this helped.